About five years ago, the government asked Nesta, Ian Livingston, and the head of Double Negative, uh, Alex Hope, to look at the skills gap in this country. It was recognised that with our high-tech industry and our games industry and special effects, we weren't necessarily getting the right skill sets through from school. We managed to convince the government that the old ICT curriculum was irrelevant for the digital age and they acted on our advice and the new computing curriculum came into effect. But we also decided that we need something practical to help teachers and resources, particularly from the games industry, um, in classrooms that kids can actually enjoy and be inspired, particularly from uh, you know, getting girls into coding. So we, we coordinated a bid and Digital Schoolhouse was born. Digital Schoolhouse is a unique way for children to learn about computing through engaging workshops where they learn how to do things in a way that they've never actually quite seen before. It's designed to really upskill, inspire and engage pupils and teachers with the new computing curriculum. From the point of view of the pupil, they're going on a school trip. When they're there, they learn computing with a unique blend of resources. We are doing Makey Makey and this time we'll try the piano with our different arrows. And then I want them to move forward three times again, so one, two, three. When they get something right, they just feel so enthusiastic. There's just this, the spark in their, in their eyes, it's light up, they go, I get this. It's fun, you know, it's, it's creative, it's not just lines of text. And you could see them getting excited, saying, oh, I'm going to go home and I'm going to make this, or I'm going to go home and do this. This is creative learning that's really, really fun. We're living in the digital era. This stuff is so important, not just for our industry, but for the kids themselves. Digital is influencing us in so many different ways. The tech that we use, communication, even the way we socialize. So it's really critical that kids learn about this tech, that they learn about digital, that they understand about the careers and opportunities that are available to them. I was completely overwhelmed that Sony would be willing to support the project. The expertise and the experience and the financial support that they offer do open up so many opportunities for the Digital Schoolhouse. We've expanded from eight to 19 projects this September, and that's thanks to PlayStation. We're keen to fund it and encourage other companies to get behind it and really grow it throughout the entire country. The Digital Schoolhouse has been a massive success in London and it's a great privilege for us to be able to help roll it out across the country, especially here to the north of England. We've seen massive benefits already. The children's confidence has really risen based on the activities which we've involved them with. It's given us the knowledge to know how to use computers and if you learn about it in school then you've already got a head start for when you're older. We're trying to teach the children skills for jobs that don't exist yet. Um, who knows what jobs will be available in 10 years time. What we do know is that those jobs will involve computational thinking skills and that's why we've bought into the digital schoolhouse model. Now I've learned about it, I'm doing it all the time. Yeah, yeah. it's really fun because because it's fun but it's things. learning at the same time yeah. which makes it really good. Yeah. When I go to a digital schoolhouse workshop and I see the excitement on the pupils' faces and I, and I, I hear those whoops of delight and, and that joy, it's really wonderful. And it takes me back to actually why I became a teacher in the first place. It's a win-win for everybody involved. If we can harness the power of play-based learning in the classroom, then we can really unlock the potential behind each child.